All right. Can you see it? Can you see it? A little closer. Can you see it? Let me know when you can see it. Actually, my zoom doesn't work so good. So we'll go out and we'll go right up to him. All right, let's catch him and take a better look at him. See how hard it was to see him? And see, he took the whole branch with him. Let's take a better, closer look at him. This is called the tomato hornworm. These things will absolutely devastate your garden and they're fast. They, they literally can travel all over a plant in one day and chew up multiple leaves on the plant in one day. Now, if you see one of them, chances are you got at least a dozen. Or more. Um, I just threw a big one. I should have. I didn't have my camera with me, so I didn't save them. But I just threw a big one in a pond so the fish could get them. But um, yeah, these guys will destroy your garden, and it's almost impossible to find them. They are such good camouflagers. Um, if you ever seen a tomato hornworm moth, I think it's a moth. It's definitely not a butterfly, but I've seen one of them. They're as big as a hummingbird. They're huge. They're very elusive. They're very hard to catch them, you know, uh, when they're actually around. I've only seen them. I've seen hundreds of these worms, but I've only seen maybe once or twice in my life. I've actually seen the, the moth itself, and it's very big, guys. It's as big as a small bird in some cases. The ones I've seen were just massive. Um, and they're very hard to see and they fly like a hummingbird. You would think it's a hummingbird. It's not a hummingbird It's actually the moth and they sound like kind of like a hummingbird They're very fast and they they fly very swift. They don't fly like a moth, you know Like a butterfly or a moth kind of like jostulates all over This thing flies very fast and and direct and everything almost like a plane or something but um, Yeah, this is the tomato hornworm just give you a, a look at you know what it looks like I'm trying to get in on it really close without losing uh, uh, any resolution or getting blurry let you get a real good look at them all right in case you've never seen one before I'm sure anybody growing tomatoes seen these before my garden usually gets devastated by these things outdoors that's one of the reasons why I have an indoor garden is because of things like this this is one of the reasons um, they're prolific out here unbelievable I'm sure I got hundreds more in there I just you'll never see them you know what you have to look for is this that's the only way you can know that they're in that area and then you got to spend like a half hour an hour really looking and really 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 looking and you'll get lucky and you'll you'll find a few but you'll never get them all I've already like I told you I pulled one off already I'm sure there's another one on here somewhere there's got to be I'm just looking really quick if I can identify any more damage Any chewed leaves that's what you have to look for is those branches that are chewed off and you can come out here one day and everything looks fine you know and then the next morning you come out here and you'll see a bunch of branches that might be the moth right there no that's a butterfly very elusive those moths if you can ever see one you're luck consider yourself lucky.